Hey guys, what's up? Today I feel a little, well, actually, this whole entire week has been really stressful for me, so I don't think I'm going to do my normal chapter reviews that you guys are used to. I'll still talk about the chapter and cover some highlights and some of the main points. Oh, what's going on? What's happening? Why do I feel really, really angry and powerful? Stress? Oh my goodness, what a dope quirk for a CEO of a company to have. I wish I could borrow that quirk. What's up, I'm True Hero, and even though all my theories about Redestro's quirk were proven wrong, I am nowhere near as stressed as he is right now. So let's take a look at Boku no Hero Academia chapter 233 of the manga for this My Hero Academia chapter review. We'll look at everything from Redestro's quirk to all of the other craziness from almost every character in this chapter as well as the possibility that Shigaraki might not be able to use his quirk anymore. Let's dive in. Before continuing from Shigaraki's battle, we are sent back to Twice and Toga, and things aren't looking too good. Twice will have to clone Toga and then use her syringes to give the real version of her blood transfusions. Dr. Twice is pretty smart, I give him credit. We also learn some unfortunate limits of Twice's double quirk. It creates copies that reflect the target's physical composition at the point of measurement, hence why Twice must clone Toga for her blood and not just make a revitalized version of her. Now, Twice of course can make copies of himself that are brand new and healthy, but this begs the question, how would Twice fulfill the Liberation Army's plans that they had for him? The whole reason Redestro was interested in his quirk was to have him as a bodyguard, so that if anything went down, Twice would copy Redestro and he would never die. But since this would only copy an injured Redestro, or a Redestro in mortal danger, how would this help? What's Twice gonna do? Copy Redestro and have the healthy version of him on standby until something happens to the original? That's not gonna work. They're both gonna fight over who's the leader of Deternak Company. But anyway, I hope Toga pulls through. Also, Skeptic is losing it. He's now trying to capture the real Twice in the middle of this blood transfusion. He made some puppets, and he keeps on saying, this was not a failure, this was not a failure over and over again. To me, he's cracked. Which is really interesting because Twice, who just came out of his psychological trauma, now has to face this guy who is about to enter it. Listen, all my theories about Redestro's quirk may have been wrong, and we'll cover that a bit later, but as for the politician Hanabata, called it, I was spot on. Hanabata, special ability, rally. His voice lets him enhance the mental and physical capabilities of all his followers. What a fitting special ability for a politician. In fact, he could just be a hack. All his success in politics could just be attributed to the fact that his special ability literally gives him an edge when rallying people. We finally get to see a bit more of Spinner's backstory, although I wished for more, and learn of his obvious quirk called Geico, which gives him insurance against ground attacks by letting him do lizard shit. Like walk on walls. Spinner kinda reminds me of Sarazawa from Mob Psycho. They are both shut-ins and outcasts from society that just want to give their leaders meaning. Both just want some kind of purpose. The pair of Spinner and Hanabata are both support characters. Take that gear off the politician's face, he's not that great. Wrong. In a one-on-one -on -one fight, he's useless. Spinner is sort of the same way. He's always been looking for a way to not just be a side character, but he actually accepts the fact that he is here. And that's okay. Spinner fully trusts Shigaraki and sees the big picture. If he can simply help him, any way that he can, that is enough to fulfill him, so long as he gets to see the future where Shigaraki destroys it all. Finally, let's talk about Redestro's quirk. And uh, I'll say it again, what a genius quirk for a CEO of a company. Well played Horikoshi, well played. This is truly an impressive quirk. Redestro can use all his pent up stress and anger and turn it into raw power which also makes him larger in size. So when he's livid, this big boy is insanely dangerous. This also goes back to Destro's quirk. Remember how his mother was murdered because her child was thought to be too dangerous? Imagine being a young Destro and everyone thinks you are a grave threat to society. Yet, you haven't done anything wrong. So naturally the label of being an outcast makes you angry, which then in turn makes you physically dangerous and inadvertently proved to all those cowards in society that they were right. The more misunderstood you are, 
the angrier and more dangerous you become. Until one day, your dear mother is murdered, and you snap, taking all that anger, resentment, and pain, and using it to destroy it all. Now I thought Shigaraki had matured a bit, and perhaps he has, but something tells me that taunting Redestro by asking, How are you feeling now? 110,000 soldiers, was it? Hmm? No, not the smartest move, Shigaraki. After this taunting, we see Shigaraki try to crumble the ground and Redestro with it, but our CEO jumps up and comes down hard on Shigaraki, and more livid than ever. And with this attack, not only does Shigaraki lose one of the hands of his family members, but also, Redestro severs the thumb and two fingers on Shigaraki's left hand. But by missing these fingers on his left hand, can Shigaraki still use his quirk? While certainly powerful, Shigaraki is not the same as, say, Overhaul. Overhaul could use just one finger and either disassemble or reassemble anything he touched. Shigaraki, on the other hand, must touch something with all five fingers to activate his quirk. And this disintegration doesn't start until all five have touched the surface. Given this, it's not unreasonable to expect that Shigaraki is now handicapped in terms of his quirk on his left side. Horikoshi could get around this by saying Shigaraki must have all fingers touch something in order to disintegrate it, so now he just has to bring his ring and pinky finger together. But still, unless All For One's doctor works some magic, this is a huge blow to Shigaraki. And of course, there's always the I'm the successor to All For One and will inherit multiple quirks anyway scenario, in which case Shigaraki wouldn't have to worry about just using one, and could potentially even inherit a quirk that allows him to regenerate his limbs. Huh. I wonder if Spinner can do this. I really love this scene near the end where Redestro, now a giant, is taunting Shigaraki back, holding what remains of his left hand and saying, Is this the hand that's been doing naughty things? Hmm? Let's crush it. Luckily, Shigaraki has a giant of his own to counter this titan, and at the end of the chapter, we hear of a mysterious earthquake. Gigantamachi is on his way. And just in the nick of time, too. It's time for Hulk to smash. Honestly, I'm really excited for this fight. Especially because Gigantamachi will not only be facing Redestro, and obviously a more angry and bigger Redestro, but also the League of Villains as well. Should be epic. As always, thanks for watching. But what do you guys think? How will Redestro and the League of Villains fight Gigantamachia? Are we ever going to see Dobby again? And is it possible, is it true, that Shigaraki's quirk is now permanently gone from his left side? Comment below. If you like these My Hero Academia manga reviews or My Hero Academia content, consider enrolling at UA Today by subscribing. And until next time, I'm Shigaraki and uh, <laughs> plus ultra.